Fort Worth turned out to be one of the sunnier locations today at the moment of totality. The city's Museum of Science and History made the most of it. Fox Horse Dion Anglin took it all in with the crowds. Hi, Dion. Hi there, Clarice. Well, deeply impactful, yet hard to put into words, though we challenged some and they gave us their best description of the eclipse. The moment of totality unfolding for a Fort Worth crowd that can barely contain themselves. I think it was like just yeah. awesome. It's kind of like, I don't know, like it takes your warriors away. Yeah, it's breathtaking. Yeah. It was incredible. It was uh, so cool to see the corona around the outside. The Fort Worth Museum of Science and History played host to one of nature's most anticipated events. Paul Fitzia traveled from London to be here. And we come to Fort Worth because we thought that was probably the best place to watch it. Standing by the museum is absolutely amazing. <laughs> to a backdrop of music by the U.S. Navy band. Food, fun, and more. And this one even got to see it. She kept her glasses on, and she kept pointing up to the sky. I see it, I see it. I think everybody heard her, so. But it was a lot of fun. Families with children got a chance to safely view what many have been looking forward to and studying about for months. Yes, were, yes, yes, yes. As soon as it was covered yes. up, I took my glasses off. And to see how completely dark it was. The Jacobs had a few hurdles to cross, but it all worked out. It did take some effort because I had to rush from work because someone was calling, are you going to make it? You need to come. <laughs> you know, the kids would like for you to be there. So, yeah, you can't miss it. So, I made it just in time. When it was totally covered, you took the glasses off. Yes. What'd you think? It was awesome. It was very fun and exciting, too. It was a lot more touching than I thought it would be. <laughs> I almost teared up because just to think about seeing this in our lifetimes, Without a glitch, that is how the Museum of Science and History here in Fort Worth describes months of planning and a rough estimate from officials. They say there were more than 1,500 people here in the courtyard and the areas around the museum. That's a very latest live. Clarice, back to you. Awesome, and Dion, even though we were all in different places and in different cities, we all got to experience yes. it together.